I thought it was great. I thought, uh, you know, we did a lot of different situational football. We got a lot of reps. The guys were focused, intentional for over, you know, what was it, close to four hours. They did a really good job. We hit on a bunch of different stuff. Um, yeah, it was, um, you know, we'll, we'll watch the tape and we'll have a lot of things that we're not happy with, but I was happy with their focus and concentration. How would, uh, how'd Gavin look to you? Better. Yeah, he, uh, you know, one of the things we were emphasizing today was red zone offense and, you know, everything happens more quickly down there. The space is lessened and you get more pressure and those type of things. And he did a really good job of reading, going through his progression and getting rid of the ball quickly. So that was good. How important are these games and scrimmages for the coaching staff? you got a lot of new guys on the offense side. Work on the communications, work through certain things. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, these are all experienced guys. So, um, you know, when you work with a bunch of different people over the years, you've kind of seen it all. It's good that we do it, though. We have the headsets on. Different things come up. You know, sometimes a, a word at one place means it different than the word at this place. So we got to make sure we're all speaking the same language. Through camp now, what are your overall thoughts on the offensive line room? Getting it better. Yeah, we're getting better. Um, don't know if I could tell you who the five starters are yet. I think there's some good competition, but I don't think it's a. I can't tell you because no one's stepping up. I think there's competition. So, um, but we'll figure that out here in the next few days. How about just your offense as a whole? What did you think today? Improved. I mean, we went in and tried to do a couple of different things. And um, I thought defensively we played better today than we did in the first scrimmage. Um, you know, so I thought it was a pretty stout defensive effort. And I thought our offense, you know, slugged it out pretty well with them. It, you know, wasn't going to be an explosive day. They're, they're playing pretty well right now. What's kind of the schedule now as far as camp goes and then turning towards Northwestern prep? One more time. Uh, what's the schedule like now for camp, and when do you turn towards uh, prepping for Northwestern? Well, you know, they'll get a little rest here, and tomorrow we'll review the scrimmage, but no practice or walkthroughs. And then uh, we'll go a couple days next week before we turn everything to Northwestern. When we do it, we do it. Like, we don't sprinkle it in. So right now we still have to work on us. Things that we didn't get done today, we'll go back or, you know, shine it up and try to perfect it before we get into game planning and doing it specifically for one offense, defense, or special team. How was Aaron Young look to you in camp? He's getting back to his old self. Yeah, he's done some good things. Um, he's a valuable player because he's got a lot of Big Ten reps. He's an experienced player. So he's going to, I think he's going to uh, fill a lot of different roles as a running back, third down back, special teams, a, a myriad of those. So. Uh, but it's good to have grown men. What are your impressions of Sean Bowman through all this and today? And he's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's a uh, a strong, physical player. He's got uh, good, really good hands. I think Sean's going to help us in several ways. You added seven freshman wide receivers and two transfers this offseason. Anyone really catching your eye out of that group? Yeah, I think all of them have at one point or another caught my eye. You know, even with the young guys, uh, some guys caught my eye. So they're definitely a talented group. Um, Coach Brock is doing an excellent job bringing them along. Um, but we got to continue to accelerate them. As you get out of training camp, there's not as many snaps to go around. You know, you're not two spotting drills as much as you do in camp. You're hardly ever doing that, really, once you get into pre preparation for a team. So um, they got a couple more days where they really got to take advantage of their reps. Special team situation still the same as the last time we spoke with Jay as the number one kicker, Jude as the kickoff man, and uh, same punter. Yep. Yep, looks to be that way. Captains, are you going to do that this week? Do you have a plan for that? Yeah, we, we usually do it sometime before the first game. Uh, if, if I don't feel like it's time yet, then we'll wait to the middle of the season. You know, I've done it every way over the years. Every, every team's different. Uh, I think we have a lot of good leaders, so I'm not sure if the captains are going to be quite as important as maybe in other years. But, uh, yeah, we will, we will do that. What's your thoughts on Evan? In the, uh, how's Evan been this camp? Simon? Yeah, he's doing a good job. 
Yeah, he's quietly taking care of business, doing everything that uh, that he's asked to do. Right, do you have time to, to see some of the guys from last year's team that are making NFL teams? Have you been told about how have they're I've doing? I've been following them. Yeah. I get, um, what is it called, the Twitter and Instagram stuff. Uh, they send it to my phone so as a text, and I get to read it. So that's kind of my uh, relaxed time. Yeah, they're doing a good job. A couple guys, we had some picks last week. I don't know how it is this week, but some INTs, which is good to see. Yep. Anything else? Okay, uh, we got the meet the team tomorrow night, and I want to thank KTR for sponsoring that in this day and age of NIL. These things are important, and it's great for our fans to get to meet the players, and I think it's really great for our players to meet our fans. You know, to know the people that are that are supporting them and to have a little interaction with them is great. So I encourage everybody to uh, to come on out. It's a great evening, and it's uh, what is it, five to seven, five to seven tomorrow night. So I hope to see you there.